but actually, in my constituency, I think in a lot of constituencies, the support from the Tamil community for Labour councillors, for Labour MPs, for Labour candidates, has been a really important factor for us. It has been in, in my constituency. So on behalf of our party, thank you for the support the community has given to us very consistently over a long time. I mean, just a couple of points to add to what's already been said. It, it is clear that things have got a good deal worse in Sri Lanka since the most recent general election. And uh, I think what happened was that the previous Sri Lankan government felt it needed at least to pay lip service to the resolution, the 2015 resolution, which it sponsored along with, co-sponsored along with the British government. And they calculated that if they paid lip service to it, then on the whole, the international community would leave them alone to get on with things as they, uh, as they wanted. And, and you know, what you have to say, their strategy was pretty successful because there was never really any accountability demanded from them for what they were doing. But the new administration, they've thrown all that uh, aside. The Rajapaksas are back um, and the gloves are, are, are off and they're not making any pretense now of going along with the demands of that um, resolution. The president controls all the senior judicial appointments. There is, I, I think, a real climate of fear in the country, a good deal worse than was the case before. Human rights defenders that Stevens mentioned, people who've survived uh, torture, are, are, are harassed pretty constantly, lawyers are held without charge. It's a really, really grim uh, situation. Uh, all of it being catalogued thankfully, by the uh, UN High Commissioner on, on Human Rights. Um, and the, 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 the change of, of tactics on the part of the Sri Lankan government, I think, has been very striking. But it does mean that the excuses for not holding the Sri Lankan government accountable for the promises it signed up to have gone. And we need now, I think, to be much more assertive as an international community in the demands that we make. I very much uh, agree with the point that Stephen made uh, about uh, 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 General Silver, uh, already designated by the US. Uh, we should be doing uh, the same. The Defence Secretary, Kamal Gunaratne, uh, he led an assault in February 2009 on civilian hospitals and food distribution points after the war. He commanded the, the notorious uh, Joseph Army Camp, uh, notorious for torture. Um, we should also be sanctioning him. And there's no, we've got the mechanism now, there's absolutely no excuse for action not being taken. I, I also welcome the, the most recent uh, resolution. I particularly welcome the evidence gathering commitment in that resolution because I think we will in that way at least get good evidence uh, about uh, what's going on and that resolution does now need to be backed up by uh, sanctions on individuals and we've got a, a, a real responsibility for what's happened in Sri Lanka. Our government so far has let us down what we all need to see now is a Labour government which is going to be decisive uh, on this because Britain does need to play its part. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you.